Hello everyone and welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. Today we're going to make PDFs great again. We're going to take a PDF, scrape a table out of it, and put it into a spreadsheet where you can actually do something awesome with it as opposed to staring at it in that useless PDF. Uh, now, if you have a pro version of Adobe Acrobat Pro, you know, you can export a, a, a table right out of uh, uh, the PDF into a spreadsheet. Uh, but many of us don't have that. It's very expensive. Uh, and there's a free tool called Tabula that will allow you to do it uh, for nothing um, and to do it safely because Tabula is software that you download to your desktop and you do all the scraping on your desktop as opposed to loading the PDF up to the live web and doing it there. It, chances are it could be hacked, somebody could see it, or it's residing somewhere online. So if you download Tabula to your computer, do your scraping on the computer, the chances of uh, anyone know, knowing what you're working on or scraping uh, are slim to none unless they hack into your computer's desktop. Um, this is journalisttoolbox.org, uh, our website. Um, if you uh, go there, uh, you will find all these categories uh, down the left-hand side. Um, and uh, one of those categories is data visualization and online tools. Um, and if you click on that and select data journalism tools, uh, you can scroll down on the page and there's a little section there called finding, scraping, and cleaning data. And boy, this is just a gold mine of uh, resources here. Um, we've got our public records page, data set search, workbench, which is a really uh, nice all-in-one tool. Um, but the tool we're going to work with today is this one, uh, about the fifth one down on the list, called tabula.technology. Tabula.technology. It's right here. Um, if you need a PDF to work with, just email me. I put my email address on here. I can send you a few PDFs to work with. But most, most of us have uh, PDFs laying around that uh, some government official has sent us, uh, usually on purpose. Uh, in a PDF format where we need to scrape something out of it. So if you don't have any PDFs, uh, or if you're an instructor maybe that needs some for a class, let me know. I can send you a bunch of them you can, you can practice with, and I'll demo with one today. Uh, we also have more training videos uh, on our website, journalisttoolbox.org. So email me if you need PDFs. In the meantime, hit pause and download tabula.technology. Just open up the page, tabula.technology. You can download for Windows or Mac. Uh, it's safe software. Uh, it's used quite a bit uh, by investigative reporters. Uh, lists some of the media outlets that use it here, you know, the New York Times, ProPublica, many others. Um, so hit pause uh, and uh, open up uh, Tabula or download Tabula and then open it up. You'll look for the little green icon in your applications folder. I have it right out here on my desktop. So go ahead and hit pause and then we'll get together again and I'll show you what to do with Tabula. Okay, whenever you go to open Tabula, um, I keep mine right out here on my toolbar. I open it, and you'll see it open on your browser. And this always you know, kind of fools people into thinking, oh, wait a minute, I'm working off the live web. Uh, but if you look up here in the uh, web address, you're actually working off your desktop. Uh, so the Tabula software is running on your hard drive, and you can load a, uh, a PDF into it uh, and uh, uh, select what you want to export out of it, and it'll export it as... Uh, an Excel document, a uh, little spreadsheet, and you can drop it right into your uh, uh, downloads folder. Um, so here's some uh, PDFs that I scraped uh, not too long ago. One was a bunch of sidewalk repairs in Chicago. The other one was a bunch of polling places uh, around the city. Um, and it'll archive these for you if you need to go back and extract the data again. Uh, I usually just go in and remove them out of here uh, and get rid of them just so uh, they uh, aren't, aren't laying around in the software. So let's say you have a PDF sent to you, and this is one I got from the Nevada uh, Secretary of State's office and back in 2016, it was all their voter registration statistics. And this is just your classic government document. Um, ugly looking PDF, um, uh, big old table in it. Um, and you know, if you have the Adobe uh, Acrobat Pro, um, you can go ahead and export uh, uh, the uh, spreadsheet right out of here. Um, this is a native PDF that has been saved uh, as a PDF format out of a spreadsheet or a uh, Word doc or something like that. Um, but if you don't have Acrobat Pro, you're going to have to use a tool like Tabula to scrape that table out of there. So we'll hit the Browse button, uh, and I'll go find this on my desktop and select my PDF. 
and then I'll hit import and it'll bring it in at this, you know. Uh, but notice as you move your cursor around, it gives you these little crosshairs here. And I can hold down with my cursor and drag across the area that I want to scrape, okay? Well, let's say you have a document that's maybe 90 pages long with 60 tables in it. You don't want to have to paint 60 tables. There's a little button up here that says auto detect tables. It'll go through and automatically select the tables for you. Um, you can hit the little X here to X out of it if you don't want to make that selection, but I've got my table highlighted here. I'm going to hit this green preview button. What it does is it pulls the data out of the PDF and turns it into uh, an HTML table here. And HTML tables are scrapable. If you've ever used a formula to scrape a table before, uh, you'll know that these are scrapable. And here I'm asking for it in a CSV format, which is a spreadsheet format. Um, comma separated values and then just hit the export button and it will download to my downloads folder and there's my little PDF right there I'll drop it into Microsoft Excel and there's my spreadsheet now notice you know my header here is a little bit off I have to move a couple of words down you know you might have to do a little bit of cleaning with it um, but you know here you have a quick and dirty little table right in your spreadsheet. Now you can sort and filter this and actually do something cool with it. Um, again, uh, if you hit the little tabular button in the upper left, you'll go to back to your home page. There's the PDF that I just scraped. Now what about PDFs that have been scanned from a document, something that uh, is not a native PDF? Those are a little different animal. Um, so I'm going to take one here. Uh, I've got the Clinton Foundation's Form 990 here. Uh, and this is a scan document. It was scanned from paper. So I'll select it, hit open, and import. This is the awesome thing about Tabula. It actually stops you and tells you that the PDF is image-based and to go to the help page. So I go to help and the nice thing here is it says having trouble with Tabula and it tells you what to do right under step one. So take a second and read through that. Okay. Now you know that if you've got a PDF that is scanned, you're going to have to run it through OCR, Optical Character Recognition Software. And you can do that in Adobe Acrobat Pro. There's also a piece of software called Tesseract for you uh, uh, fans of uh, the Marvel movies. Um, if you're on a Mac, it's called PDF Sandwich or Lime OCR uh, for Windows. And these are free pieces of software. They're safe to use. Um, PDF sandwich here. It looks like my first web page back in 1995, for God's sake. Um, but you can download it right here. Um, the latest version's right here. Uh, and you can download it and use it uh, right through Homebrew. The link's right here. Um, and all you have to do is open your PDF in that software one time, uh, close it, and then move it into Tabula. It converts it uh, so it becomes a scrapable document. Anytime you use optical character recognition software, be careful with it because OCR software can be uh, very tricky. Threes looks like eights. Uh, you know, a, an L can look like a one or an I can look like a one. And sometimes you have to go through and clean up uh, that OCR uh, document once you've, you've run it through the software. So uh, make sure you go back and fact check everything really closely. So again, tabula.technology. Uh, if you need some PDFs to practice with, there's my email address. Uh, and more training videos at journalistoolbox.org. Just check the rail, uh, and we have a link to all of our training videos there. We'll see you next time. Thanks.